Welcome back everyone. This is Roy with Pontoon Life and um, I've got another video. How did you know that? Um, yeah, well I'm not going to do it. Well, this started out to be a, a, a kind of sort of reveal video. Um, a little something that, that came in the mail um, today. Well, it didn't come in today. It came in about three days ago. Um, and I'm just getting around to doing a video um but i figured you know it's kind of a special package um it's not a it's not your typical mystery tackle box let me see it that's what your mystery tackle box looks like well this one came in and that didn't look like a mystery tackle box so, okay, um, I thought about it and said, well, that's a mystery. <laughs> so anyway, it wasn't a mystery for long. Um, my, um, my son said that he had gotten me something, you know, you know, he's got, he's got his descriptions and, and he does the Guggen, um, uh, boxes and he does the six cents boxes and he's got all, you know, different ones and, um, well, anyway, make a long story short, and that my, that's my son, RJ, and if you hadn't guessed, that's Fishing with RJ, and, uh, you know, if, if you hadn't gone to his channel yet, um, it's, uh, gonna be, um, in my description, as well as the end of the video, I'll have a, a little, um, a banner on there you can click on, so, yeah, go check him out, he does, he does a lot of, uh, um, colorful reviews you might say on some of these on some of these boxes but um anyway he sent me this one and uh you know at first i didn't really know what it was you know i, I thought it was just another mystery dackle box that came in for my subscription but then i realized that well it's not it wasn't september yet and i, I hadn't gotten that box in so um and that would have been box three or the since it was a three-month subscription that would have been my last box. I thought that was it, but it's not. Um, so anyway, I was going to do a video on this. And then, you know, I said, well, that's a pretty quick video. Because according to my son, there's only one bait in there. Um, so, okay. Um, so I figure, let's do something else. Let's, let's add a couple of things. So what I was going to kind of do is, uh, and I know you, I do all these videos and you see all these poles behind me. What you don't see is I've got other poles <laughs> um, and um, I kind of wanted to show some of the um, just kind of a little bit of a comparison. Um, some of the poles we used in our um, when we go out to usually we go out to Rockport and where I use our heavier poles um, and I do have a couple of big bait casters some some Daiwa um I think they're the 9000 eyes um but um you know I've been I've been really liking the spinning reel and rod combos um a lot better lately and it just you know I was a little hesitant on on some of the things because you know we caught a couple of sharks off of the off a pier a few times and it seems like the you know i don't want to say anything bad about pen because pen makes some great products but you really have to kind of use the right equipment for what you're fishing for i mean if you're going to go offshore you know i uh, think the in a spinning combo you know your spin fisher i think is like your your the very least you want to go well that's above the battle three which is above the fierce three which is above the fierce two and so on and so forth so they have a lot of different rods and reels so anyway for i don't know maybe three four years um and that you know i hold this up here we won't see it this is the pin fierce this is the Fierce 2. Um, yeah, this is the Fierce 2. 
Um, and this is the eight thousand. This is this is this is the the biggest they make. Um, and I've used this, and I've been really happy with it. Um, but unlike its, um, I'm gonna say its predecessor, unlike its its um, new uh, version, which is the Pin Fierce Three, it didn't have the HT100 drag washers on them. Um, and you know, we caught we caught some sharks. And I kind of really felt the the drag on on this kind of you know it was it was yeah it was pretty um um I don't want to say it was it was it was bad it just you know it 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 had that feeling of looseness and <laughs> you know I you know for a while area and I take really good care of them if you if you notice that there aren't any scratches on this and we we use these quite a bit you know we'll we we'll actually take these anytime we go any saltwater fishing so um so that that was i've had that for a while so this last one this last video if you if you looked at our our um fulton pier the new fulton pier video that we did when we were fishing out on that pier we had gotten some new equipment well the um that new equipment was the um was an upgrade and of course it's a pin um and we upgraded to the and if you can see that that is the battle three and this is also an 8000 uh, i think they do make they may make a bigger one than this one um no i think the 8000 is it i think there's a uh, another version of the 8000 i'm not really sure what the difference is but um that's the one we got there. Oh, we actually got a couple of these. One, my wife and I got um, one, and then my son got, and, and I, we also got five thousands. Um, I do have a five thousand, which is a smaller reel, in each one of those um, uh, Pen Battle Three. Um, it's kind of a combo. The 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 rod is a Battle Three also, and the it's mated to a. Um, this is the uh, 10 foot heavy um, and it, this is one we used out on that um, on that pier in that video and they performed fantastic um, I you know these do have the um, those HT 100 wash or the, the you look, I think right here on the I should say right there here we go HT 100. I'm trying not to knock things over over there. Um, that's the, um, the 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 better of the drag washers that that are out there, and you can look those up and Google those. Um, it makes a big difference when you're when you're fishing and, and and you've got something that you're trying to, especially if you're trying to pull off a pier, you know, on the side of a pier. Um, are these good for offshore fishing? Uh, I've read no, <laughs> um, and, and I say that. You, I'm sure you can if you're if you're fishing for you know reds or maybe some red snapper, maybe, maybe um, drum that kind of thing. But you know you go after something a little bit bigger, or you're, you're shark hunting, um, shark fishing. <laughs> um, for, for this is not you know intended for that. There's all they, they make all kinds of different versions of these these. Um, reels and if you look the one above this one is the spin fisher i believe it's spin fisher four and then there's another one above that one and another one and they keep going of course you know every time you go up it it becomes more and more expensive so you know i just kind of wanted to give you a kind of idea some of the you know the these are some of the poles i've got i've got you know different ones I don't think i've got i don't think i've ever gotten rid of a fishing rod and reel I mean, I may have broke one or two, um, but, you know, ever since I was, I don't know, um, I, think I, I think I got my first rod. It's my first rod and reel. Well, my dad gave me my first rod and reel. I think that was a Zepco uh, 2, 200. I think it was a small closed face 
uh, Zepco's with a, I remember the little blue pole that it had there was like, like a, I don't know, four and a half foot pole, something like that. Um, and I, I fished with that for a long time when I could actually, you know, work to, to, you know, cut grass or do whatever I could to buy my own. Um, I think it was a rod, the rod that I got. Um, and I don't even know it. I know it's in here. Um, was a, um, I'm sure it's in here somewhere. Um, well, yeah, it's all the way in the back over there. It was a uh, a Berkeley. Um, bought that old Berkeley rod and put my Zepco on it, and I think I inherited a Zepco 800 or 8. Yeah, I think it was a 808. It was an 808, and um, that was a great little rod reel for a long time and then i think i bought this um and i'm not going to show them all but uh, there's a um shakespeare here uh spinning reel with a, with a zepco ocean site that i bought in 1986 and like i said I, I i've i've got most of my poles uh, and rods and, and everything i mean rods and reels you, you name it i i kind of kept everything and I, I you know i've i've never really thin down anything maybe i should i've got so many of them but anyway these are our, our later ones and our latest ones and they've been really really good um and um so anyway we bought we bought uh that one um that one's mine my wife got a same same rod i mean well same rod and reel this if you notice is blue um this is also the Pen Battle 3 8000, and it has the same drag washers. But this actually was a limited edition. This this um, rod and reel combo here, um, this is a 10 foot uh, heavy as well, but this is the Battle 3 LE, or limited edition, and it is in a, um, like a machined blue um, it's really cool, cool little outfit, but functionality, they're the same. Um, and you know, <laughs> again, very, very, very good. I mean, if I, I mean, I'm, I'm not, I'm not sponsored by Penn, wish I was, but you know, I've owned a lot of Penn products. I mean, you see those fierce twos that I've got. Those are 8,000s, and I've got a couple of 5,000s. I've got an old Pen 209 that my dad gave me from way back when, and I've got some, I think they're Pen Captivas. I've got a couple of those. Um, so, I mean, I've, I've, I've got Pen all over, and Pen has kind of been one of the um, my favorite rod and reel uh, combos for quite some time so anyway i you know i just i didn't want to make this video like really really short so i just kind of wanted to throw those in there you know and kind of show you what i had um when i go out to the coast and and, and that's what we use you know we use that in the five thousands. but anyway we'll get back to this one <laughs> um if you have any questions on those you know those pen battle threes let me know uh i'm no expert on rods and reels uh but i can tell you that we've had good experience with them um i i like i said i've i've got some bait casters some i've got a couple of very large bait casters um the uh Daiwa 9000s are are exceptional uh bait casters and you know i've, I've got that vintage pin 209 which works just phenomenal it's just nothing wrong with it uh when my dad gave it to me i tore it apart cleaned it all up re-greased everything and relined it and it's ready to go so anyway um i want to get back to this because i don't really know what this is um he said it was a single bait and um i told him okay well we'll we'll throw it in the video there and see what we got so, okay, the inside looks like a typical um, mystery tackle box. And it looks like shipped from Carl's Bait and Tackle to me. Has a description on here. 
This is the 10,000 fish Zucchi bug, five inch blue craw, six pack. Okay. All right, and that's the only thing in here is just this. So he sent me this. Five inch irresistible flutter wings and tickle tail. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, that is bait. All right. Uh, okay. So he sent me that. That's pretty cool. Um, in the back here, it says 10,000 fish, Zuchi bug. The Zuchi bug dives out of the clouds and owns the water like a fantasy creature. It carves through the water. Claws kicking hard for a slow, tantalizing fall. Um, on the bottom, irresistible antennae. Tail and wings flutter with every twitch of the rod. This kind of sounds like a poem. Fish filled with wonder and curiosity can't help coming in for a closer look. Crafted for techniques that need larger profiles like a Texas or a Carolina rig, Master the depths with the Zuchi bug. So in the back it has a little diagram of how to rig it. Um, and this is a six pack, by the way. Um, so yeah, it is pretty cool. Let me see if you can kind of zoom in on that there. That is pretty cool. So yeah, it shows either a Texas or Carolina rig um, set up. And... Um, yeah, he sent me that, and I, I thought, okay, well, that's pretty cool. He said, but, you know, if you do a video, it's only one bait. So that's why I included the rest of those. <laughs> I wanted to do a little something, you know. I, we've been we've been running around. You've seen me do some some uh, videos on my um, our, our poultry, our, our chickens, and our ducks. And, um, you know, the, we've, we're trying to... You know go through and and and, and get the garden uh, situated there we've pulled out all kinds of cucumbers and tomatoes and um you know it it peppers uh, there's some purple bell peppers in there that were pretty cool so um yeah i mean i didn't want it to be like a really super short video so i just kind of wanted to give you a little rundown on on um what i've got there and, and i've got this other pole here um i got this to, also I was kind of thinking I'd put my wife's reel on on this rod this is and you know this might be the second rod for her that that being a heavy this is a medium action and um, this one this one is the uh, marathon guardian I believe yeah uh, marathon guardian it is an expensive rod um, very cool. I mean, it's it looks just like the pin reels on us. It's a, you know, um, fairly inexpensive rod. Um, it's blue, kind of color coded and everything, just like the the reel um, has that blue aluminum. So uh, anyway, I thought maybe you know, um, it's easy to swap out the the reels on that. So if she you know wanted to go with a little bit um, more action, basically. Uh, on a rod maybe we, we not fishing for such heavy uh, fish but she wants to use the reel um, I got her this one which I thought was pretty cool and this one is I believe I want to say this is a nine foot yeah this is a nine this is a nine foot and the other ones are ten so it's, it's about a foot shorter a um, little easier to, to, to handle a um, little lighter action and it's perfectly matched for that reel so that you know it, it just gives a little bit of an option there so um yeah i've had that there for a while so um anyway um that's all i had for today you know it was just a a video basically on what my son fishing with rj got me in um you know i figured well might as well show off some of the reels that i've got there <laughs> you know um that we use out at the coast and if you go back a little bit and look for the video that shows us fishing at the rockport fulton uh, pier um that pier incidentally was destroyed by hurricane harvey um well i don't even know the the year on that now um 
I don't know. Uh, I have to go look it up. Uh, what was it about six years ago? I'm not sure. Anyway, um, you know, I used to go to that pier all the time, and it's been destroyed a couple of times by different um, by different hurricanes. And uh, this time they rebuilt it. I believe they put concrete pillars in which they hadn't had before so the actual pillars on the on the on the um that go into the water i think they're i think there's some type of composite on the outside and concrete on the inside and the rest of it's wood uh, and then they lined it all with green led lights on the bottom and it really lights up really nice you'll see that in the video and you know we use these and we were catching some some pretty nice um uh catfish off of there um those gaff top catfish were, were pretty large um you know we we caught several of them using these these new rods and they perform fantastic um especially when you're pulling a you know eight ten pound catfish off a pier that you know i mean it's well you fish off a pier you know how far that goes down uh, we didn't have any nets or anything, so you know we were just slinging them over the over the pier, and um, they they were they were flawless. I didn't have any problems with the drags on those. Those HT 100s are fantastic. Um, no slippage on those, um, and um, you know I can't say anything um, bad about them. They are excellent, excellent, excellent um, fishing rod and reel combos. Um, now, what I would like to have, yeah, of course, I'd like to have a, you know, a, a, I know there's a couple of them that, that are way above these, you know, they're like seven hundred dollars up for a reel. Would I ever get them? Probably not. Um, but, you know, because I don't do any offshore fishing anyway, um, and I'm not taking my pontoon boat offshore. <laughs> I don't think that's probably a good idea. Um, but anyway, um, that's it for this video. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed it. I mean, I, I I was surprised by that by that package that came in, and I had said, yeah, you know, I got to do a little video and uh, give a little shout out to fishing with RJ. And um, and uh, anyway, um, I keep wanting to end the video, and I just don't end the video. So we're gonna go ahead and end this video. And as always, happy fishing. Y'all be safe out there, and I'm going to add, please subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, um, you know, kind of helps us out. doesn't cost you anything. You know, add it to your subscription there. Click on the, the thumbs up. Um, hit the notification bell. kind of helps us out. And, um, you know, that way we'll see you on all our, our uh, videos that we have coming up. So, um, you know, hope to do a few more of them. Um, like I, like I always said, they're all mixed. You know, some are fishing stuff, some are poultry, some are our garden, some might be my, I don't know, some equipment that I'm doing. Um, who knows? Whatever we got going on is what I'm going to do a video on. And um, so with that, we will see you on the next one. And um, y'all take care.